life for yours. I am able to serve. If we enter battle, I will fight and die alongside you. I... I have not heard that question in some time. My flesh is healed if that's the answer you seek. I know. And I fear that others will see the mercy in your actions. And in my survival. And use it as a weapon to do you greater harm. I... Felt you. Heard you through the Force. It was like a sound at the edge of hearing. And when I heard it... I found I could not ignore it. I serve my master. I am an emissary. A scout. My master was aware of a disturbance in the Force. But was unaware of its nature. Of you. The disturbance is not something one feels from a living thing. There is little my master does not know. And that you eluded his sight for so long is significant. But I do not know why. You cannot. His vessel roams the borders of known space. And even I do not know where he travels. Until he calls for me. Even if I could lead you to my master, I cannot permit you to find him. Until you are ready. If I bring you before my master, untested, without your potential realized, then you will be lost to me. And I cannot allow that to happen. It would be as if one brought fire to a paradise valley, shattered a cavern of rare crystal, or blinded a painter. I cannot. I will not. I would die first and gladly to preserve you untouched, unharmed. Now that I have found you, I cannot sacrifice what I have found. You will meet my master. It is inevitable. I have seen it. And when you stand before him and realize what you face, you must be prepared. Until then, I must protect you, help you, until you are ready. There's a, a greatness in you. A greatness that does not stem from the Force. It stems from who you are. And if my master does not understand you, cannot see you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. But if you seek to survive, then you must understand why this is so. There is much I see my master cannot. I fear it is because of my nature, the nature of my race. My people spend their lives seeing the galaxy. The energy streaming off stars, the growth of life, all things touched by the Force. It is not a subject which I have spoken of since its destruction. It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. The Force is far more terrible, and it touches more lives than any machine can hope to slay. For everyone that feels the Force, Strongly, deeply. Each one feels and perceives it in their own way. You have strengths, whether you know it or not. And my master has his. His power is great. And it comes from hunger. He is a wound in the Force. More presence than flesh. And in his wake, life dies. Sacrificing itself to his hunger. And those who feel the Force strongly are beacons to his hunger. My people, my planet, would have been attacked in time. It was inevitable. Yet we could do nothing about it. The Jedi, the last council of the Jedi, came to our world to meet in secret. They hoped that perhaps among our people, they could achieve the clarity to see what was striking them from the darkness of the galaxy. They succeeded, but only in bringing him from the outer regions. And Qatar, with my kind, with the Jedi upon its surface,
could no longer be ignored. And my people died. And the Jedi died. And there was no one left. Only me. They hoped to see the threat that had been stalking them. And they did. But they were unprepared for the magnitude of the threat. He cannot deny his hunger for long. And any gathering of Jedi is something he cannot long resist. And now that the Jedi are vanishing, I do not know what will happen. Perhaps he will grow strong enough to eradicate all life, merely with his presence. I will answer what I can, but my answers may prove useless to you. I am not familiar with the place you speak of. My master has not entered Republic space for some time, but there are others who may move more freely, who may have been responsible for such an act of destruction. There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same, the death of all Jedi, everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi, and their hatred of the Jedi unites them. All their eyes are upon you, and it is a terrible, quiet darkness that pursues you. I will answer what I can. My people once had the power to perceive events, to see through the Force. That sight may manifest itself in many ways, and at times, I may affect the abilities of others to see as well. My sight has been damaged. What I have taught you, it is not the full extent of the perceptions of my people. My master, when he showed me my world, showed it to me as it is, in hurt. And since that moment, it has been difficult to perceive the Force as I once did. But after traveling with you, I feel that perhaps there was a gift in it, hidden beneath the pain. Only when one suffers, do certain truths become evident, both of the galaxy and of the self. And I feel you are an example of this. Forgive me, but before you go, I must ask, why do you do this? Why do you seek to help me? Teach me? You must not do this. I cannot allow you to weaken yourself for me. So you say. But it is not something I have observed or seen. I remember little of my homeworld before I entered my master's service. It is not as it was. There is little left of such memories. Or the planet itself. Very well. Perhaps we shall speak more of this at another time. But know this. I cannot allow you to weaken yourself for me. We just got this message on the convoy. Looks like trouble. I think this is something everyone will want to hear. Droid's the one who picked up the message. He's got it all ready to display. Good thing it's not a trap. What are you talking about? It's obviously a trap. Could you please lighten up for one second? It may be a trap, but traps work both ways. This Visquis, his kind is spread through the lower reaches of Nar and he may have information, but the choice is yours. If you go, you will have to go alone. 
It's just off the docks, near one of the far traffic pylons. He's got you at a disadvantage there, though. The place is filled with cyanogen gas. One whiff of that, and it'll be the last breath you take. You'll need something to allow you to breathe there, and disguise you from the other patrons. No. Cyanogen gas attacks you through the lungs and the skin. You'll be dead in seconds. Besides, you'll need a full bodysuit if you want to remain disguised. Like I said, a human walking around in there isn't gonna get a warm reception. Can't bring any droids in there either. There's a lot of electromagnetic activity in the area. Screws with comlinks and behavior cores. Don't be surprised if your auto map starts showing static either. Well, I wouldn't keep him waiting. If you got his attention, you probably attracted the attention of someone else. Hey, look. I wanted to tell you. Be careful. I won't be able to contact you via the comlink if something happens. And I'm betting that Squidhead knows it. Look, take these. They're healing packs. If your suit gets breached, you'll need to inject them fast if you don't want your lungs to seize up. And trust me, once the seizures start, you'll be dead. Watch yourself, and don't be too long. I'll keep an eye out here until you return, and I know just the place.
So, you're the big Jedi that everyone's been talking about. You don't look so tough to me. I thought you Jedi were supposed to be smart, and here you are running around Nar Shadda, sticking your lightsaber into everyone's business. What, were you planning to save everyone on this moon? You're attracting more attention than a fleet of Sith warships. I'm Mira. I'm the best bounty hunter in this system, and that's not me bragging, that's fact. I had you in my sights ever since you landed. I've been watching you run all over the refugee sector like a bantha, and for someone with a price on their head as high as yours, you sure don't know how to keep a low profile. Look, I know that Squidhead Visquis sent you a message to meet him in the Jek Jek Tar. He works for Godo, and it's a trap. I'm betting he's gonna lure you in there, start a fight, and then he's gonna wrap you up and deliver you to Goto. Dead, claiming you attacked him. Well, whatever your reasons are, the fact you're meeting with Visquis is what I want to talk about. If I know about it, that means everybody else on this moon knows about it, or will soon enough. And when that happens, the bounty hunter truce is off. That means things are gonna get real ugly real quick. Now, I don't think you get it. They're not gonna come after you. I think your friends are the ones in trouble. Well, this sure beats staying on the ship. A few drinks to keep me on my toes, a few games of Pazak to keep the mind alert. Should be enough to keep me out of trouble until our fearless leader straightens things out. Give me a hit of Juma. Keep him coming. Well, looks like staying on the ship was a bad idea after all. So, I don't think I caught your names. Uh, you two work here, or...? Yeah? What happened to your master? No, I'm here protecting someone, keeping them out of trouble by acting as a distraction for people looking to harm him. Why don't you two shut us try it and we'll see what happens? Do not go here to put us aboard. Chris Sorcha went things in me punta. Lord Chawata, you my knee. Hold on, you my this. That button no chi, tagua ita. No so copa puta. Brentaba nin sucho. So, you're the big Jedi that everyone's been talking about. I thought you Jedi were- What were you planning to save- I'm Mira. I've been watching you run- Look, I know that sc I'm betting he's gonna- Just this. If I know about it, and when that happens- no, I don't think you get it. I think your friends are the ones in trouble. Well, 
this a few drinks to keep should be enough to keep give me a hit of june well so i don't get you no cut one sort of sun yeah what get you no cut to not to try to one of my son no i'm here for to one team i left the whole purple tank cover doom them why don't you two shut us do not go here to put us up no so cool but Time to take you down to five. from more where that came from more where that came from more where that came from well that's it Bounty Hunter truce is off. That means this place is gonna get real bad, real fast. Better get back to the ship. Warn the others. I don't know why a Jedi would come here. There's so much noise on this moon. Of course. It makes detecting a Jedi difficult. But to be in a place where one drowns in the Force, why would a Jedi wish that? A simple question, to which I ask another. Why should a Jedi want to hide? Hey, we need to move out. What are you talking about? What is wrong? The truce between the bounty hunters and Nar Shadda is off. There's gonna be a war. A trap in the Jek Jek Tar is bad enough, but having a hundred bounty hunters on your back is something else. He was told to meet alone. We cannot disrupt their meeting until the alien reveals the information he has. Look, we need to move. They're coming after us, not the Exile. If they are coming after us, then they will be after him as well. We need to go rescue him. Yeah, you're right. But I'm guessing we're in a lot more trouble than he is. Mokka Kamaran and Dosso ran with no chabi. Do ran tamana sobu. Eranamo sibu and asarans. Kramasuku. Mokka Kamaran and Dosso ran with no chabi. 
Tu rantamana sobu. Febko emaream da watasito insula raka raka chata. Tamaso kinchu da waka. Lopi una wana si chukora tawa. Anybody here catch that? All I understood was very. I think he wanted us to give up the general to his poorly trained collection of bounty hunters. Ah, well, that would explain it. Which one do you want? I'll take the stupid one, who decided to threaten us rather than shoot us when he had the chance. Uh, this is one of my safe houses. It's, it's not too pretty to look at, but keeps away prying eyes. Yeah, well, it's one of those trade-offs. All the freighter exhaust from the docks, you know. Some aliens actually like breathing it, if you can believe it. You know, Visquis is arranging a trap for you in the Jek Jek Tar. No surprise there. Thing is, he intends to cut the bounty hunters out of the loop and deliver you to Goto personally. <laughs> Not smart from where I'm standing. Well, for one thing, you're going to stay here, and I'm going to meet with Visquis instead. Well, that smell you noticed when you came in? It's probably filtering through your lungs right now. I upped the dosage in case you had some Jedi training to resist poisons. Anybody without olfactory blockers, like I have, is gonna start feeling dizzy, and eventually fall unconscious. Good night, Jedi. Let me just take that environment suit, and I'll be back soon. No wonder you're still number two on Narshada.
Yeah, and maybe you'd like to explain why you've decided to backstab Goto and claim the Jedi for yourself. <laughs> You signed on with Boga the Hutt? Visquis, you're dumber than I thought. There's no way Goto won't find out. Yeah, right. I'm not telling you where the Jedi is. It's my bounty, and that means he's under my protection. you feel should be wearing off soon, but not before we've spoken. When I first heard you were a Nar Shaddaa, I didn't quite believe it. I didn't think anyone could track me here, but I see I underestimated you. I've watched you as you have traveled the refugee sector. I've seen what you have done, what I refused to do. Even exiled, you are more a Jedi than I. If anything, know that your actions have convinced me I can stand by and watch no longer while the exchange closes its grip on this sector. I know a young woman went to meet with Visquis in your place. He will not negotiate with her. He will kill her. I intend to rescue her. I will return shortly, or not at all. If you have come to this moon for answers, or for revenge, then you will follow me. Listen to me. Clear your thoughts. Still your breathing. Let the trace amounts of air in your lungs hold you. 
the Force can sustain you. Listen to it. Let it keep you alive until you reach safety. It is an old technique similar to the healing trance. Some Jedi can hold their breath for hours, even days.
Moranda do rei makasi waba. Do a chesentones. Taras mucho canweme do nasabu. Dana wekizi, chazoto gutso. Tanama we knows. Such a ranto notch, vanata gurka cheno. Burnacha no. Burta chanta chuyonto. Sirento saraka ma van relique nito. Nina mrabanka gona chi trompa banakares. Kawana bota atagwa kanka diwa. Yutaka alonji umaliba. Tu es maha wika si wawanta mo go ika monsoba. Wakama nurawa. Kawana bota atagwa kanka diwa. Yutaka alonji umaliba. Tu es maha wika si wawanta mo go ika monsoba. Wakama nurawa. Kavadumpe masuraku popayi botenya. Tache moroza kamsa. Javasko bo sabjo. Riji so karve nokso. Mochi to zasa grindeyo. Da hupo botenya go jucho picha. Gwen taba ni sochu. Norotoga proto lala shishi. Juba dosa jibacha. Ratak mansan. Dokosha na chitolo. Kawana bota atagwa kanka diwa. Yutaka alonji umaliba. Tu es maha wika si wawanta mo go ika monsoba. Wakama nurawa. Dona cherami no sinaga wamsa. Harondanto jo sosito mos. Joro mabako do 